so you find out that negative things are happening around your family every time money comes everybody becomes sick till the money goes down just calling a family meeting is not a way of solving it you go back at least for tonight i am a spirit body i'm not going to be deceived by what is happening Shatakata, you need to get into that decision room that boardroom in the spirit what is going on over my destiny within that boardroom if you don't plant anything in a farm something will still grow because you are not the only farmer around your farm the bible says while men slept another farmer who was waiting for them to sleep do not believe you are the only farmer over your destiny there is a devil waiting there to put seed so you go to bed and reap a harvest you can't remember sowing no i can't reap what i did not participate in this it's against the law of god i should reap what i sow ah but do you not know that your ignorance is also a farmer it can sow ignorance can sow ephesians 4 and verse 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them that ignorance can alienate you please hear me we are going to pray that it be done in earth as it is in heaven so god created me i'm not just an engineer or a doctor don't be deceived by the geography of your assignment don't be deceived by male or female all those things do not matter in the realm of the spirit god separated a man to become male and female simply because he wanted to act out a dimension of his love i hope you know both male and female are dimensions of god he separated them to achieve two reasons one procreation so that they will fill the earth but number two so that there will be the clearest example of the relationship between God and man. So if you don't study women, there is a dimension of God you will never know. No wonder both them and the Holy Ghost are called helpers. I deserve dinner for this good, this good word. listen to me listen to me i didn't come from a region where physically speaking there was any advantage as far as ministry is concerned sincerely but i knew that living my life to chance i would be a frustrated man of god and one day you have to ask me and say he didn't really call you brothers and sisters I came to show you something tonight I know you have been praying but remember the speaking is only when light comes when you just speak because you had someone speak help that guy under the anointing please your speaking makes no sound in the realm of the spirit until light because it is in his light that we see light and when we now see that light then we can speak we can command i am not just a man i look like a man you see a man but this is only a host the spirit man has exclusive contact with the realm of the spirit where realities are stored this is the warehouse of possibilities and by this agency called prayer the bible gives us the privilege to select the possibilities we want to see manifest prayer is many things among them the opportunity that god gives you to go to the warehouse yourself but who shall ascend i will say and then he came down to you the word of god is his possibilities coming down to you 
so that there's no more complain i cannot go to heaven to find out what is there this bible is a compendium of god's commitments to you that if you find any truth there god is committed the word of god is the boundary of his commitment to the believer that is not all he can do but that is all he has defined he cannot come to you beyond the boundary of scripture so i find here that i am the head and not the tail i find here that i am above and not beneath but i'm the only one reading it the person looking at me is not reading it and it's not even interested it is left for me to activate the possibilities that compel them to do what the word of god has said and one of the key for tonight is prayer that prayer is not just an activity of exerting effort so that you will feel spiritual uh -uh. prayer is not just a way of trying to manage guilt or feeling like you are not being serious with god the urgency is more than that that every time you pray many things happen one of it is you give an opportunity for the holy ghost to search the mind of the father and when he searches the minds of the father he will open the file where the archives of your destiny is and because you have now been joined to him that he that is joined to the spirit is one are we bible people so the holy spirit can come and begin to reveal to you the things that pertain to your destiny you are in need of spiritual power because you need it in ministry and while you pray the holy ghost he knows where the power is taught it is in his office and he will draw that power and bring that power on a mortal man you were born of a woman with no capacity for supernatural things but you now engage a mystery that turns you into a sign and a wonder do you know you can change your job change your boss change the outcome in your life the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen so we can look at things unseen they are unseen not unreal unseen for the things that are seen are temporal you went to school temporal means subject to change under a certain condition not every condition rejoice not over me i have found a key that changes my outcomes so while i may look like a weak helpless person with no helper i know how to call them calling them physically is a burden they don't even know they are my helpers so i go to that place where my spirit can make contact with the father and then from that light i declare those who have been apportioned to help my destiny while i'm praying the holy ghost goes around port Harcourt looking for them because he's called the father of spirits every spirit is under his authority listen please hear me do you believe what i'm sharing with you one of the major assignment of angels just for that kind of childishness angels begin to work when you are serious about programming your destiny their assignment is to make her execute what god said they execute what you have believed that god said i came here tonight to do two things one to open you up to the fact that you are not just a body please find a way of understanding this you are not just a body waiting for situations and circumstances or waiting for a preacher to pray for you there is a place for that 
but that you are you are shortchanging the advantage of your duality you are not taking advantage of it that god invested this strategy in man so that every time the earth wants to fail you you compel it to obey you can i tell you this the earth has never been disobedient it was only designed to respond to certain sounds there was something noah did and he stood close to his ark and all the animals started coming noah never went to look for them if you know that thing whatever he did you too you can stand and begin <laughs> listen hold on the animals did not come one by one they came two by two so that there will be continuity of that result male and female to ensure that that result reproduces because when it happens only once it is not favor no that's breakthrough the proof that is favor is that it is consistent regardless of the human participators so whether you are in lagos or abuja or potako the outcome should be the same you will think i'm boasting i am not human beings are simply actors the script writer is you so don't tell me it's because i'm staying here nobody wants to help me in potako because i was not born here is the obvious answer not the right one When I found this, I knew I found my way. So, the advantage of participating with the realm of the spirit in prayer can provide me an advantage to remedy what my background. See, it is based on this that the Bible says, for we know. The rest may not know because they don't know what we are made of. But the Holy Spirit has educated us enough to know, for we know that all things work together. They may not start together, but eventually work together. The pain should not be in the equation, but since it has now come, there is still a way of making it useful in the... Oh, this is God for you. One of the things that makes a chef a chef is the ability to use anything to make sense. Are we, are we together now? Yes. God is like that. So what should not have been in the equation if it does come? He says, no problem. It's all right. There is still a technology in my wisdom that I can still work it out to make sure that it becomes for your good. Why? Because you love the Lord and you are the called according to his purposes. So tonight we are going to change things in this place. In the next five to ten minutes, we are going to rewrite things. We are going to end circles. Now listen, listen. I know you have been praying, but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven. Please hear me. Everyone who is a worker here, hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh 
she's supposed to have received the restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways this meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when i'm praying i'm speaking over you i'm not creating something new no i'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with god that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were it's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this go back this night wake up in the night Put your office files on the floor. Shalaska, makapranda gabato seketeba, ekroske barush kabaranta. I speak favor in the name of Jesus. I am Bula Hefziba, the delight of the Lord. When you are done on Monday morning, dress well, pick your file, go to the office. Already, angels are there because you sent them. Already. The Holy Ghost is there. Find a way of believing what I'm saying tonight. Listen, listen, listen. When you go back home and everybody is lamenting, don't feel bad, but don't join them again. You came for a conference that has educated you. Listen, things are not going well in this family. The pandemic has made things bad. And suddenly you remember the message and he said please excuse me for the next two hours and you step into your inner chambers and say I am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name I speak favor in the name of Jesus I command open doors they are loving Jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me how it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say God use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide we're going to pray it's time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady i command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah i wish i had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the bible says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds i've sown hallelujah Please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service we're going to be praying and while we're praying two things will happen here number one 
that if at all any chain followed you here except god is not god here at house on the rock portacot that as you pray those chains must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the god that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock through faith we understand that the worlds were made framed by the word of god Pray. You are commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Program realities.